out the first run after lunch, let's see what happens. <laughs> Pretty clear out on track just now, I think. Just to go. Cool. Alright then. So, we're going down in towards turn one, obviously 90 degree right hander. So, we'll go up into fourth gear. As we arrive, we're just going to slow it down into third. Just hook it in, let it hook up at the apex, and then we can pick it all up as we head out towards the exit. Pull another gear all the way up, looking way down towards turn two already. It's a real fast right hander. We're just going to try and settle the car a little bit on the way in here. So we just settle it in, give it a chance to turn. You feel the weight set on the outside, and all of a sudden we can pick it up as we head through. Beautifully controlled fifth gear. Keep on going. Okay, straight up and over the top of the hill. It's very hard braking. It's downhill braking as well. the first apex, so stay wide, and then we can hook back across and in towards the second apex. Up into fourth gear. You can drive with two fingers on the steering wheel. It's so well balanced, through mid speed and high speed. Even through here, which is a bit of a kick, you know, you can go in with a bit of a drift, still sort of all back out quite happily, and uh, it really doesn't kind of affect the car at all. It's so, so nicely balanced. Again, such a tight corner here. Normally you'd expect it to be spinning the inside wheel, but it's yeah. not. The diff's working really well. Right to the left. Now we're slowing it down. Into third gear. Tightly in towards this hairpin. You know, we're almost at 3,000 revs there. Yeah. And they've still got the torque to pull it out the corner. You know, yeah. old type R would be uh, you know, in between gears there quite a bit, you know. But here as well, you know, we're just bleeding off the throttle. As soon as I want to go back on it, we're still fully letting the turbo pressure. Carefully on the way through. Down and towards sector three again, hard braking, fourth, third. We're going to just leave it in third gear. You know, it's, again, it's low on the revs, but it's so drivable to come through. I can hold it nice and neat, then I can ping it back. The seat's holding nicely in place, and we're off and running once again. Okay. You can head all the way down here, looking down in towards the last corner. It's quite an interesting one. Quite easy to under commit and over commit on the way in. It's quite difficult to kind of get balance right. That's got a bit of a slip stream on us at the minute on the way down there. Let's see where he ends up. You can set that on the inside. Oh, we'll have to give him a little bit of room on that one. But you see, he's kind of gone wide, a slightly different place. I'm going to hook back and in towards that second apex. Allows me to get back on the gas that little bit quicker. And obviously, then as we head out on towards the start finish, right? Like that a little bit easier as we head through. There we go. Again, one slight there. <laughs> All the way down in towards turn one. Who's going to be the last of the late breakers on the way in here? That's going to send that on the inside. No way he's making an apex at that kind of speed though. We'll hook back into the inside. Tight, but we can hook it just back across. 
going for a slightly different uh, approach on the way through here. We hook back across with a bit more gas. I think we can. There we go. <laughs> 